<laughs> that role. If you had a role like Iron Man, I think that pretty much cements you for life in terms of being an actor because that's a role of a lifetime. Just as Deadpool is a role of a lifetime and Wolverine as well. Because th- these are roles that you have to make them in order for, for you, you know, uh, to make a, your mark in the world. And Robert Downey Jr. has de- done that and then some. And then now he gets like a, a, a part two, but this time we get a villain. Like he he killed it for like 15 years doing a good a good guy. A conflicted good guy because Iron Man wasn't, you know, all sunshine and rainbows. He had his flaws. But uh, he did a great job in portraying this character. And now he's going to get his uh, hands uh, dirty into going one of the most ruthless badasses <laughs> in, Mar- in Marvel Comics in Doctor Doom, which I think, like, people say, oh, Thanos is like, well, Thanos, I, I never saw Thanos as a threat in Marvel because Thanos was, for, for me, as an old school comic book nerd, to me, and I apologize for all you Marvel purists out there that are going to listen to this, and this will be fighting words, but this is the truth. Thanos is like a, a Kirkland brand <laughs> a dark side because dark side was made first in the comics dark side was made first and dark side was created by jack uh, jack, uh, uh, jack kirby uh, so uh he already had the pedigree as like okay greatest villain of all time in dc at least is dark side dark side like you can't touch dark side that's dark side is it like that that's even one of his <laughs> Dark side is. That's one, one, one of his uh, quotes. Dark side is. That's it. So, like, dark side is him in terms of being bad guys. Now, uh, in Marvel, I've always seen Doctor Doom as being him. 